One nothing Bruins as Moore puts it in. Off the board. Oh, what a hit. There's a dandy hit on Civil Day off by Mark Hollick. That was a rattling hit. Now it's an elbow impel. I said Hollick. I think it's LeBron who made the hit. His shot handled by Woodley. And he leads it for Rossi. Oh, is he hit? No, if hit that wasn't a penalty, I don't know what was. Coming out of the corner, spun around, play on, says the ref. That should have been a penalty. There's a hit. Yates is taken out by Rennie. But as Bill mentioned, he's uh, had chances to make saves on both goals. Here's Yates trying to get it over here for Marquette. Shot from the sharp angle. Went high and wide. And there's a stand-up hit. Several day up, run by who else? Sean LeBron, who's had more hits in the first period than anybody. 2-0 New West. LeBron doesn't have a point, but I'd say he's the best player out there. Long pass in the center ice area. Knocked down by Woods. Brought in over the line. And again, a hit. LeBron was in on that one. And it's knocked out to center ice. Rennie with Barnes. Barnes takes the pass. But LeBron's in front. Just went wide. Good three-way passing play. Almost finished off by Sean LeBron. And if there's ever a player that deserves a goal in this period, it's that guy, LeBron. Back to the blue line it comes. Here's Woods over to Shevel Dayoff. Moves in, winds up, shoots, scores! Run this one all the way back, and you'll see something I was saying earlier. If you don't take the man out, you're in for trouble. Kevin Shevel Dayoff collects the puck, and that is his first ever Western Hockey League goal in two years. Epoch made a mistake at his boost. Oh! It cost his team a two-on-one. The Wheat King's doing some more bumping here. Devil Day on takes a hit from Bingham. It's starting to get rough. Daniels to Bingham. He hits, or gets hit rather, by Jokas. Wheat King back in their own zone. Daniels without a helmet. Leaves it for McPherson. Daniels shoots. Had his stick taken out from him at the very end. Almost a fight behind the play. We almost got two fights. Yes, we have two fights. Bingham is fighting number five, Jokas, and then getting set to square off right there is Spinrath and Shevel Dayoff. And they both started simultaneously. And it was sort of weird because one didn't start the other. The two just started by themselves. And Shevel Dayoff at this point, really surprising uh, Spinrath a little bit because he's coming at him left-handed. Oh, blindly. Oh, a good blow. He, I don't know how he saw him because this sweater was right over his face at Spinrath tagging Shevel Dayoff who didn't know it was gum. I don't know if we can see this or if we care to all the way back, but I can tell you exactly where this incident started. It was Shevel Dayoff walking right into Scott Daniels and getting hit right at the blue line, and then he came back and got nailed by two newest Bruins, and you knew that something was going to happen uh, a little bit after. No question about that. Yates trying to slither right through, and he upended at the last moment, or at least lost his balance. Then he's taken out hard in the corner by Scott Daniels. Good hit. Kish takes a nice pass quickly through center ice. Kish making moves, trying to get in around the defense. Still has the puck. A weak shot at Mantle like he holds on to stop it. Now some rough stuff after the whistle. There go the gloves. There go the lids. And now we have Brad Woods and Mark Pollock squaring off. Pollock in white, Woods in black, and they are really throwing punches. I hope that's close enough for you at home. There are some that don't think any scrap's a good one, but if you do like fights, that was a better one than most. Well, the Saskatoon game we did here last time. We'll see how this thing starts. Keep your eyes on 19 white right there. And it's amazing how often the players now realize there's a lot of punches being thrown there now, but they realize, hey, if we're going to fight, let's at least get our ha helmets off so we aren't banging our hands into each other's hats. So you'll see that happening more often than not now. Players taking the hats off before they start going to work with a fist. Why don't they do that in the NHL? They play pretty well, too. Kennedy's hit hard by Menard. All the way down the ice, that pass misses. Mandel at the goalie. Oh, Jake hits. Icing the call, maybe. Two-line pass instead. Is that a hurt Brandon Fleurville? 
tires for sure. Bob Woods, former tier two player at Nippowin, Saskatchewan Junior League. Boy, that just bordered interference right there. Steve Jakes just waited, timed it absolutely perfectly. And the thing is, physically, they're backing off just a little bit. There's a chance for Kennedy, she scores! Troy Kennedy right in front of the net and the Wheat Kings now lead three goals to two. Hodgers shoots it in. And they sure play the one line a lot. A near fight in the corner here. There they go again. Spenrath and Audrey. Well, it's the second one for Spenrath. Three and you're done. Yeah! Boy, oh, should love throwing those punches. Holy fuck! Well, Jeff Audgers from Spy Hill, Saskatchewan. Must be the only hill in the province. Dan, he's second year <laughs> player, 150 penalty minutes last year with the team. Considered Audgers is the hardest worker on the club and the reputation quite tough, and we can see why. Here's where it started. And well, they usually start with some kind of check, some kind of a hit. And again, off come the hats. Size each other up. Daniels from behind the net couldn't get it. The weak king, so he's get better as this game goes on. There's something going on behind the play. Daniels and Chevel Dea. They may go. Yeah, they're going to go behind us. Chevel Dea and Daniels. And here comes another scrap. Again, the lids goes down there. Getting fancy at throwing the lids off. <laughs> Are they going to go at it? You bet. Your bottom a teapot. <laughs> yeah, there they go. One of these days, one of those punches is going to land right on the button, and the guy's going to go down like a ton of bricks. I tell you, they size each other up a lot in this league. I think, Dan, I think that's both their second fight tonight, too. Just for Shevel Day off. Now another fight behind the play. Jakes is going to fight Brandon's Cam Brown. They're in a tight quarter. Steve Jakes is a good fighter for New West, but he's oh, yeah. taking a bit of a hit oh, from yeah. Cam Brown. Now Jakes gets some back. And you can really see a lot of punches being thrown. I don't know how many are connecting, but a lot of them are. There's the sweater, and I think Cam Brown wins that scrap as you're keeping score. At least the weak team bench thinks so. And another scrap stops the play, and that one I think was meaningless, Bill, to be sure. There aren't many players left on either team that haven't gone out and challenged each other. Can't get to it. Side of the goal. Jokas has it. We do have a penalty for boarding in the corner. We're taking off the stick by Yates. Now to Menard. Oh, their stick went high by Jay Moore. Here's a chance in front of the net. Good back checking by Barnes. Wood shoot scores. And over the line, here comes Sage. Shooting. Rebound. Kiss right in. Oh, he put it wide. Kiss right in on goal. Put it wide. Had a great chance. He's also alone there. He scores. Out of Rennie. Rennie's run in too hard by Cam Brown. Jakes runs into Brown. Starting to bump again. There's a slash on Daniels. Play on, says the ref. LeBron in over the line. Everybody's hit, including the linesman. Laid offside. Waved off. Linesman Kelly Martin got swung. Oh, there's another hit. Rennie knocked down by Paul Jacobs. There's been a lot of good stand-up hits. There's another one. Rennie this time running back at uh, a Brandon point. And another one by LeBron on the boards. They're really starting to bump. But instead they shoot it in. LeBron with four weak kings back. LeBron right in on goal. Scores! Oh, wow. oh my! Sean LeBron. A one-man show out here tonight in that play. 
and he ties the game up with 9.13 left. 14. Watch this, we won't have to say much at all. 14. Boy, is that pretty. Here comes Jeff Archer. Centering pass, and it just misses Barry Drager. Puck loose, goes back to the blue line. Here's a shot. Scores! Brad Woods! And the Wheat Kings lead it and win it by a score of 5-4 to four here at Queens Park Arena.